今日は撮影に来ました撮影で<笑>ちょっとね今から写真撮るこんな感じで今日はね真っ赤っかに真っ赤っかですよちょっとウェブサイトをね作るんですけどそれの写真を撮りますよいしょいい,いいじゃないですか赤いコートねこれだけでね物取りねあれペンペンアップルペンシル,ペンシルあこれねおしゃれなおしゃれなウェブサイトになりそうな予感がしますカズキさんです。うん、いい感じ。可愛い,いですね。可愛い,いです。なんかラフなスタイルに似合いますね。ラフな感じが。何撮撮るの Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today, I will talk about video editing on the iPad. I had a shooting by the end of last year where I had photos taken for my profile and also for my website at the studio. And I had my friend take a video of our shooting at the same time, like this. He made this with his iPhone and gave it to me after that. And I did some editing and created this stylish video, which was playing in the beginning. And so today I want to show you how to edit and create a video on the iPad. The app we will use today is called Luma Fusion. It's an app for video editing. This app is suitable even for professional use. It's a bit expensive, which costs over $30, but I still highly recommend it if you could afford one. Today, I will show you four must know functions for beginners in this video. Once you watch this video, you could totally start using the app LumaFusion with no problem, so please watch to the end of this video. Okay, so we'll start a new project. To start, tap the square button at the bottom left here. 
Once you touch it, all the project files up to now are displayed at a glance like this. So you could click here if you want to pull out the one from the past, or tap this plus button here, the second from left to start a new project by setting the project name, frame rate, as well as the frame aspect. So I want you to remember how to use clips first. To select your clip, go to the panel at the upper left and to the photo folder where you can see all of your video files at a glance. And this is where we'll select our favorite one. As you tap once, the previous screen should pop up on the right. In case you want to place it on the timeline below, double tap your clip to do that so it gets displayed like this. Just like this, we'll continue to add clips. So if I double tap a new clip here, it's shown on the timeline while connecting to the end of my previous clip like this. When adding a third one, since mine is pretty long, I want to trim this clip and display a part of it only. When doing so, make sure to set both in and out buttons so it can be done quicker. For instance, as you watch this video and find a good part to start, move your cursor there and press the bracket button under that. This will then show a yellow bracket placed like this, which is what I mean by setting in. In the same way, you can bring your cursor to the part to set out, and now it should look like only the middle part of this video is trimmed. So while keeping it as it is, the third button from right here is an insert button, so press it and now the part you trim will be shown here on the timeline. So just like this, I have some clips lined up, but when changing the order of clips, drag and drop a clip to wherever you want to place it while long tapping it. And if you're going to cut a clip, and tap the scissors button to do that. Tap the trash button to delete the clip if you want as well. Next, I want to start adding text for my title. When doing so, you should see an option that says overlay title at the bottom, so select it. This will add new clips over here, which will be clip for text. Double tap here to be in editing mode where you can select text, add decorations, or change the font, color, and size. So these things can be worked on here in editing mode. There are many options for editing on the right, so feel free to take a look at them and see what they have. When changing the font, you should see font options to choose from here, and you could select one, Helvishka for instance. If you want to change the weight or line thickness, there is an arrow-like button right next to each font, so click that and then you should be able to see its weight or families at a glance. Just like this, fonts are complete. Next is about color filters. I want to talk about color just made here. I'm going to double tap here on the right to make it a full screen. And the one I'm showing you right now is without any filters on. I want to put some stylish filters here, but when doing so, Double tap the clip here, and now you should be back on editing mode again. The option here that says FX is where you can find filters as well as other color adjustments. And you can find so many filter options here on the right panel as you can see.
There's this really exotic one or this pink one if you want to make it look kind of fancy. Also, if you look at the tab at the top, there's a Gaussian button too. So you can apply this to your video if you want to make it look blurry. There are so many other options including distortion and sharpness, so check these tabs at the top and see which one you want to use. This time from the second tab from left, there is a contrasty color, so tap it, and there is a blend option under that to determine the degree of your filter, so set it according to your preferences. Once you add filters on this clip, I want to add filters on other clips as well. And in this case, you can copy and paste these filters. So select the clip where you added filters just now. And there is this clipping board in the middle here, so choose it and you should see a copy option, so click on it. Then go to a different clip, select it, and in the same way, click on the clipping board and select the paste button. This way, the same features you added to the first clip are apply or copy and paste it to other clips. So this is how you add features to every single clip. I wish we could select multiple clips at once and copy and paste them, but I'm not sure how to do it and I don't think we can do that yet. So this is a bit hassle, but add filters to every clip you have. Once you've done this, it's almost complete. All we need to do is to add a BGM under here. When doing so, from the panel at the upper left, find your favorite music. This time I have my music saved on my Mac desktop, so I'm going to import it through iCloud and drag it here by long tapping it. And now my BGM is placed on a green bar like this. If you want to trim the last part of it, you can do so with a scissors button. It's the same with BGM where you double tap it to enable you to edit, so you can make some last minute editing by adjusting the volume or even adding some basic effects here as well. Once it's complete, you should have many clips. For these handwritten letters I have in the last part here, I had to use some special techniques which I also wanted to explain, but I'm running out of time today, so I'll talk about it next time. For those who are iPad mates, I have some videos uploaded exclusively to you guys, and one of them talks about a way to create handwritten letters, so feel free to use it as your reference. I actually have so many videos in my iPad mate community, I think there are around 100 of them already, but there are videos that are only available to iPad mates, so feel free to check out the link in the description box if you're interested. And for the picture I took this time, I plan to use it as my profile picture or for my website. Also, this is kind of an announcement, but I'll be tying up with a production company called Yoshida Masaki, and they put up my photo on their website. And you can see it if you check out the website, which I also put the link down below, so feel free to take a look at it. It's a pretty big company where a famous YouTuber named Bilingo Chica also belongs to them, and they've got quite unique and fun members, so I'm really excited to work with them. But yeah, I'll continue to do my best and keep trying something new, and I really appreciate your support. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And just like this video, I make videos on iPad tutorials and iPad hacks, so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye bye!